Hello. Today I wanted to teach you a PowerPoint command that you might not have known about previously, but once I tell you about it, you'll probably find a lot of uses for it. And it's called the paste as picture command. It is a way of copying text blocks and then pasting them, transforming them into images that can be reduced and enlarged proportionately. Right now, the way you're probably pasting things is that if you cut and paste a text block and then try to reduce the size of the text, you're actually only reducing the size of the text block, causing the text inside the text block to reformat, to uh, reflow rather, and look terrible when it's, a, when it's smaller. So this is a way around that, and once I teach you how to do it, I'll give you some practical applications of it and showing you how you can use this command in your day-to-day -day PowerPoint workflow. First, let's see what happens when we add a text block to a photograph and try to make the object smaller or larger. We'll start by inserting a picture of a woman. And we'll move it over here. And then we're going to make a text block on this picture. Move the triangle over so she's talking and she'll say hello. We'll group these two objects together and now we have a grouped object. And we can drag it around on the screen, and that's not a problem. But when we reduce the size of the grouped object, you can see that the text size does not get reduced. It's the same size as it was before. And when we enlarge the object, we see that the text size remains the same, and now it looks too small to fill the space. Let us copy this. I've right-clicked to get that flyout menu, and then we copy. And now I'll right click again and let's look at the paste options. The first option is use destination theme and this is the default. It would be what you get if you uh, do command V on your keyboard. We're going to use the second option, paste as picture. And there is the object as a picture. Now when we reduce it, everything reduces proportionally. That little hello is at the right size. And now when we enlarge it, it's also at the right size. One thing that's important to notice, though, is that when you paste an object as a picture, any text becomes uneditable. So when I double-click on Hello, nothing happens. When I double-click on the original, something happens. I can select it and change what she says. Again, here, you can't edit the text. Let's go to our next example where we have a, wait for it, a pie chart. And when we select the chart and make it smaller, whoops, that's only moving it around. Let's make it smaller. You see that the text remains the same size. We don't want the text to remain the same size. If we make the chart smaller, we want everything to be smaller. So we're going to paste it as a photo, or paste it as a picture rather. Before we do that, let's make a copy of this chart because when we paste it as a photo, we won't be able to edit it as a chart anymore. And it might turn out that later on down the line, we'll need to change some of these numbers around. Let's copy it by selecting it and then control shifting, or shift control and drag, and that will create a duplicate of the chart that you can edit later on off onto the pasteboard. Let's select this chart and we'll cut it. And we'll get rid of this confusing text block because we don't need that cluttering up the area. And we'll paste it as a picture. And now we can reduce this like that and the text goes down. We can also enlarge it and the text gets bigger. You also might find the paste as, as picture command uh, useful when you're using SmartArt or as we call it here in Massachusetts, SmartArt. One of the beauties of SmartArt is that when you create it, you can reduce it and the text reduces proportionately or you can enlarge it and the text enlarges proportionately. So far so good. However, if you, well before I make any edits, let's make a copy of this as I did with the pie chart. Drag that off to the side and have a copy of it. Now if you make any edits to this, right now it's at 31 point, let's change it down to 20 point for no reason other than I want to show you what happens. This reduces like I wanted it to, but Jelly and PBJ are now much bigger. And when I resize this graphic, you'll see that now I have eliminated the resizing capability on the first circle where I edited the text. 
the second and third circles are still okay. That's one case where you might find it necessary to use paste as picture. And let's bring this back here. I want to show you another thing that when we reduce the smart art too much, I'll grab a hold of the handle here. Come on, you make it too small like this. Then you can see peanut butter is now spilling out of that red dot because it is too big. So to get around that, you can select it and copy it and then paste it as picture. And now we have a graphic that we can reduce to as tiny as we want. See, a tiny little thing and the text is still there. I'll zoom way in on it. I can barely read it, but it is still there and it is still formatted correctly. I have used this uh, paste as picture command with SmartArt and other similar graphics to create a graphic that goes along the header. Now that is all about paste as picture. I hope that this has uh, taught you a new way to cheat PowerPoint and that this is a command that you will find helpful.